on this exciting episode of Northern Home Garage. It's Matt versus Machine. Metal versus Flesh. Who will come out on top? Who will be victorious? Man? It should be. Stick around and find out. What an intro. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2017 Buick. Buick. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on my wife's 2017 Buick Enclave. Not an Enclave. I wasn't drinking last night, I promise. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on my wife's 2017 Buick Encore. And uh, it has the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. It's the uh, LUV RPO code. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the two different types of oil filters that these 1.4s take. Uh, there may be a lot of confusion and I might be able to clear this up for you. let's talk quickly about the oil that goes into this vehicle. It is a 5W30 Dexos, which is a fully synthetic oil. As you can see there, fully synthetic. At one time, the Dexos uh, was a semi-synthetic blend uh, with conventional oil. And uh, since they've gone to the green caps a couple of years ago, now it's fully synthetic and most GM vehicles now take this. But we wanted to talk a little bit about the oil filters. So I do have the two different style of oil filters here. I have the uh, PF2257G. And then I also have, uh, as you can see here, the PF2263G. Now this engine could take either or filter, and it's very important to be able to identify which filter uh, the vehicle takes if you're doing the oil change yourself. Uh, I'm not even sure if a lot of the oil change shops know that there are two different types of filters because they do look very similar. So there is the, uh, that's the 2263. And we're gonna open up this guy as well. This is the 2257G. And as you can see, uh, they are the same size and they are different on the bottom. This one has a nice piece of felt or foam. And if you look on the top, the 2263 uh, has the spring and this one does not. So this is why it's very important. Now, let me tell you guys and show you guys how to identify what filter your engine takes before you take it apart. If you're running to the auto parts store, you might want to write this down. All right, so this is right out of the GM parts catalog. And if you look up here, so the oil filter kit that you're going to use, if your cap is marked with uh, UFI, you're going to use the 2519-5785, which is this guy right here. And that is the 2263G. So again, if your cap is marked UFI, you're going to be using the 2263G. If your cap is marked Hengst, which is a H E N G S T, you're going to be using the 55594651, which is the ever popular 2257G. Uh, I'd say probably 90% of them use this filter here, and uh, this one does not have the spring loaded top where the 2263G does. So, again, this one here, if you have the Hengst mark on your cap, 2257 and if you have the UFI you're to be using 2263G. All right, so let's take a look at what we got going on. So the oil filter is very easy to reach. There's your oil fill and if you just look on the driver's side and you look down you're going to see the oil filter is right here and as you can see I can grab it no problem whatsoever. It's right there now. The, we're going to just wipe the cap off and I'm going to show you how to identify what oil filter you have in there. All right, so if we look down, way down on the top of the cap. All right, see that marking right there, UFI? So I know that if I have UFI, this vehicle should take the 2263G. That means that I have the spring-loaded uh, oil filter that goes in here. So let's get that off of there and take a look. 
All right, guys, I've already put the drain bucket below the car. There is gonna be some mess, so we're just gonna make sure that the socket is seated correctly, nice and tight. I have my half inch wobble uh, extension on here. Now it should take very little effort to break it free. As you can see, barely no effort whatsoever. Be really careful. If you feel any big resistance, uh, maybe just turn it back in a couple turns and then back out. This should be fine. All right, I should be able to get that off by hand now. Let's get this out of here. All right, so we're gonna have some oil spillage. All right, that wasn't terrible. Here. All right, there we have our oil filter. All right, so let's have a look at it here on the bench. Now these are snapped into the top of the cap, so it will take a little bit of pulling or tugging to get it off. And as you can see, the top of my filter does have the springs, so this is the 2263. We we're getting pretty close to the end of its oil life. The last time I changed the oil on it was probably eight months ago. So there you go, that's our 2263G. Now let's get this cap cleaned up and uh, we're gonna inspect the cap for any damage on the threads and stuff. So we got that all cleaned up. We have our new seal installed and we have our 2263G, which has the actual spring on the top. And what happens with this, it actually snaps into place. So you push it into the cap and the cap is indexed. You give it a little push, a little rotate, and there you go. Oil filter is nice and free. So this is ready to go back in. We know we have the right filter that has the little bypass check valve on it. We made sure that all our threads were nice and clean and no damage on the threads. Uh, it's always a good idea to run a rag through the actual threads. This is debris or is that? What is that? It's a gunk. Yeah, it's a little bit of gunk. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that the threads are all cool. Now we're gonna go clean the housing and uh, we'll wipe down the housing and then we're gonna oil the seal and we're gonna get this guy back in. Not far down here. I'm just gonna clean the mating surface right here. This is where the seal sits. Clean that guy up. Wiping the outside, making sure not to, trying to make sure not to get any debris inside. And then once you're satisfied that that is nice and clean, like I am right now, we're going to reinsert the old one by putting some fresh oil onto the seal first. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to carefully put our filter into place. And you're always gonna start it by hand, making sure that it goes in without little to no effort. All right, I've bottomed it out as much as I can get it by hand. Now we're gonna put the socket back on and we're gonna to torque it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten our cap. Now this cap uh, only has a torque of 18 foot-pounds, so not a whole lot of pressure. And I don't 
have a torque wrench outside, so we're just gonna beep boop beep beep. All right. Now I'm just gonna feel around, making sure that it's seated tightly, that the lip, uh, the edge of the cap is seated tightly against the housing, because you can't have any gaps. That all feels great. Now comes my absolutely most favorite part, getting under the vehicle. Not my favorite part. All right, so for the oil pan drain plug, we're gonna be using a 10 millimeter wrench and let's get under there. Getting under cars is possibly the worst. I've already jacked it up, so you guys have seen that part. So, let's see if we can get you guys lined up here. I have another camera set up on the other side, but so here's the oil drain pan plug right there. That shouldn't be super, super tight. didn't work. Not enough leverage. There we go. This is the part everybody loves. And there she goes. I'm just gonna let that fall into the bucket. Just like so. All right. Oh, I forgot to undo the cap on the top. Hang on. See, once I introduce a bit of air into the top end, she's draining really well. All right, let's just let that drain. So while that oil drains, we're going to be looking at our owner's manual to find out how much oil it takes. I know this is the LUV. 1.4 liter. So you're looking for the service and maintenance. Let's see how long this takes. I uh, historically have a really hard time with these. Even the owner's manual, uh, which shows the 1.4 liter LUV engine, you guys can see that, it is showing the 2257G. I know, we know now, that this is incorrect for this engine. There is uh, two different design styles. So, be careful guys when changing your oil. That's, I never noticed that before. That's pretty, that's pretty weird. So that's recommended fluids. Now I just need to know recommended fluid levels. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. Cool. Really? Wow. Cool. I know it takes four liters. Here's our oil drain pan plug. We're just gonna check for damage. Looks good. Threads are nice. Seal is still in place. Nice. All right. We are good. Let's get under there, stick it back on, clean up the oil pan, thread this back in.
swiftly that oil through the crankcase, I can see that it's going to take all of it. Just below the overfill line so we are good to go. so that is done and that is how easy it is to change the oil in your cruise oil, or not cruise in your Buick Encore 1.4 liter I have a problem with that name man. I don't know why so we're gonna start the vehicle Open. Very simple on this one. I'm going to hit the button here once. Now you're going to see. It says I'm driver two. Oh, thank you. Put open. All right. So there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find our oil life. We're just going to use the up and down arrows on the keys here. Up. Tire pressures. There you go. You can see that it shows a seven percent oil life remaining. Now to clear the um, to clear the oil life monitor on this one. Once we're at that, we're just going to press and hold the button on the side of the stick here. And release. We are done. So there we go guys. Oil change on a 2017 Buick Encore, as well as the cabin air filter quickly. We inspected the air filter. Super easy. Anybody can do it. Take your time. I mentioned all the tool sizes that you need. The only thing that you really have to worry about is raising the vehicle and supporting it, making sure you feel comfortable getting underneath it and uh, lift safely, use a jack stand. Besides that, all in all, if I were not filming a video doing this, I would say I could probably bang this off in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you know, this just took about 45, just taking my time. Don't worry about how quickly you can do it. Just worry about the quality of your work and uh, making sure that you work safe. So once again, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something about the two different styles of oil filters. Don't forget, always check that cap. Make sure you get the right one. Otherwise, maybe engine damage, not quite sure. So again, guys, I just want to thank everybody for following along on these little adventures that I'm having. Uh, if you like the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that little like button, and don't forget the little bell for your notifications for the next videos. And remember, if I can do it, anybody can. Talk to you later.